Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Scabs, and uh, I'm here with a tutorial on how to use uh, GIMP, a image manipulation program. And I thought I would give a tutorial just because I'm going to be using it a lot on this channel, um, editing like backgrounds and logos and all the good stuff. So I thought uh, again that I would give you guys a tutorial. So anyway, let's get right into it. So you got all your tools over here. I will get into that in a, a few minutes. And um. You got your tools. Uh, if you don't have like your single window mode, you can go up here, single window mode, and um, yeah, basically do you know re really whatever you want. I don't really like single window mode too much. Um, yeah, so I have it here, <coughs> and so you can go up. You can choose your picture. Obviously, you open open as layers. Basically, opens it as your layers uh, over here. Or you can just open it. Uh, let's just do that. You got this, and say you want to open something else on your layers tab. Go up here, open as layers. Choose a another uh, picture, and then just open that. Um, and it comes up over here on the same layers. If you open it uh, separately, uh, blue eye. Um, it. Uh, comes up on a separate tab uh, sometimes it will if you go into single window mode um, if you open something different it'll come up as a different tab um, I like that better but yeah so anyway that's how you open uh, you can you know you save export um, they had on older GIMPs uh, where you just save it. There's no export. Uh, um, export. Uh, what is it? What do you? Want? What's the name? What's the name? Uh, option. Export option. You always had to save it. Save as. Save a copy. And uh, yeah, so they came out with when 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 two point eight came out. Um, they made that option right there. Um, so yeah, that's how you open your pictures. You have uh, all your editing options, select um, all this stuff, image, you can, all these different options. I'll get in that in the second part, third part, whatever. Um, more options, color options, tools, filters. Script view, script view is a, um, something that you have to download. Uh, if I can find, I can't remember exactly where I got it from, but if I can find it, I'll definitely put that in the description and your windows and help. Um, that's how you change single window mode. So, yeah, so uh, so for your tools, um, there, let me just open a different, bigger. Um, we can open some galaxies. So you have your picture, you got all these tools over here, you don't know what they are, you don't know what they do. I'm going to be explaining that right now. So you first you have your rectangle select tool. Select your region in which you would like to either cut or select your region in which you would like to save. If you'd like to save the region outside of your selection, all you have to do is go up here to select invert. That will invert it so all this is cut out. And the next step is if you want a transparent background, so when you open it, um, there's no white background. All you gotta do is go click add alpha channel. That'll add an alpha channel. So when you delete, hit the delete key, it is transparent back here. And then you can, you know, edit, copy, paste, whatever you want to do with that portion that you um selected. And then if you have a selection and you want to unselect it, go up here, select none. And your lip select, same same idea, circle, oval, whatever. And then you got your free select, select none. You can select your own region and then cut it out. Uh, edit, undo, clear, select none. And then here's your fuzzy select tool. Select a contiguous region on basics of colors. So it'll basically select kind of all the same color and then obviously delete and then that's what it comes up with. Um, this is good if you have like a um, a white background uh, like here, open and then we'll go down here, get this zombie picture. 
Um, as you can see, I have an all white background. All you gotta do is click. It deletes all the same color. That's basically what this color does to select by color tool, select regions with similar colors, and just delete it. Obviously, I want to add an alpha channel so then I can delete and delete. And then you have your picture. Um, yeah, so select by color basically, excuse me, does the same thing. You have your scissor select tool. Select shapes using intelligent edge fitting. Uh, yeah, I mean, it basically says itself. It doesn't really make straight lines, it makes all these curvy lines. And uh, let's just select none. And then here's your foreground select tool. Uh, select a region containing foreground objects. Once again, it says what it does. Path tool creates and edit paths. Um, this is what I do to like crop out images. There is this crop tool, which basically you can select whatever. But uh, I don't like that just because it's only like a square shape. Um, you have all your options over here. I forgot to tell you that. You have all your options for any tool that you choose. You have your options. Um, if you want to add a, t say you only have your layers tab here, um, all you got to do is add tab and then choose the tab that you want to add over there. Um, and one thing guys, if you guys want me to go into any more detail about any of the tools or any of uh, these these things up here within these few parts of tutorial on how to use GIMP, definitely uh, leave a comment or PM me uh, over YouTube. Uh, I'll definitely help you out. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so again, you get your pass tool, like I said, and you can invert, obviously. You can actually control I and then select invert and then delete. For some reason that got messed up, but anyways, forget that. Um, you have your color pickle tool, color picker tool, not pickle. <laughs> Set colors from image pixels. Uh, I actually don't know what, how to use that tool. <laughs> to tell you the truth, really, um, don't use that tool really ever. Um, zoom tool, you know, uh, and then you can you can go down here and select your um, spot in which you would like to your zoom tool in pixels or whatever, and then you have your uh, measure tool, measure distances and angles, does what it says, move tool, obviously move. And uh, your alignment tool, you go over here, you uh, here say we want to select, actually you go to your layers, go over here, alpha, chan alpha to selection, that'll select that, go back to your tools, and you can center that, distribute, offset, whatever. Oh, wait, there. Hello, I want to... with you guys. I'm not sure why it's not working on mine, but oh well. Uh, that's how you do that. Your crop tool, like I said, it selects your region that you want to cut out or just crop and do whatever. Um, uh, rotate tool. Rotate it different angles. <coughs> scale tool. Scale it. Size you know, thinness, whatever. And that, that little spitting green thing came in 2.8 as well, so if you guys don't have 2.8, definitely update. Um, it comes with some more features. I will leave the link in the description um, on how to get 2.8, or the website to get 2.8. Um, if you guys already know how to use YIMP, you guys will probably know exactly where to go to get a updated version. But yeah, so here's your Shear tool. You can um, share your magnitudes of the x axis and the y axis. Just let it go there. Kind of sheared. Um, if you didn't see it, you probably didn't see that. But uh, yeah. 
and then here is your perspective tool change the perspective you can deform your transform it some things take a little longer to uh, load than others so it's kind of like you know like a piece of paper I guess you could say reverse tool reverse it this is a new tool uh, once again came in 2.8 cage transform you can transform the region that you select and um, you can create or adjust the cage deform the cage to deform the image and fill the original position of the cage <clears throat> so yeah anyway on to the text tool type whatever and then this once again came in 2.8 they have a right then and there a uh, place where you can change the color size the size uh, the font and uh, and what you know selected change the size of the text in which you want it bucket fill tool really explains itself you know and then you got all these pattern fill and then you can choose a pattern this is a um, if I go back here back here actually let's go to this one and I select pattern fill I actually downloaded this um, this one so you can see it kinda gives it I don't that's weird for some reason I don't know maybe it'll do it it kinda gives it that uh, actually let me open I actually have an example on one of them if I can find it here we go open that you can kinda see that uh, those little boxes pixelated things and um, yeah that's that here's your gradient tool um, if you don't know what a gradient is it's basically like um, Kind of like setting color changes and like I'll explain it once I open something here real quick. So I made this this thing. guy. It's pretty cool. So say you want like a, a gradient. You can tell that's a gradient. It goes from dark to light. You can choose your color from what you want it to start out as. Okay, and then choose what what you want it to go to. So you want it like a pink stroke up or down or sideways or whatever and it changes it it's pretty cool um, pencil drawing tool paint tool same thing and then you obviously have your brush size um, I downloaded some brushes from the GIMP website uh, and some new ones came in 2.8 so if you can't tell already a lot of new features came in 2.8 like there's um a cloud cloud one that I downloaded personally and uh, yeah eraser tool obviously it does what it says uh, airbrush choose your you know choose your color okay and then right here you can set it to foreground and background colors the default black and white airbrush tool does that ink tool calligraphy you have to be pretty skilled on doing calligraphy this is your um, clone tool say you are like combining a picture here let me open something that I actually um, needed to use this for do 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 what did I save it as what did I save it as um, Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. I'll be back when I find it. Oh, nope, here I found it. Okay. So, guys, I found the picture that I had to use, and, um,. So this waterfall right here was a completely different picture on what this was and this one right here was a different picture on what that was and that I kind of put in there. So all I had to do was um, say I want to clone this part. I take the clone tool, change my brush, fuzzy, 
you, you uh, um, click, then hold and click T. No, why? There we go. Maybe. Uh, no. Why isn't that working? God, I've had troubles with this lately, but basically you click and T click. Oh, whoops. Huh. What is going on? But yeah, you basically you click T and then you can combine it. You can kind of like rub it into like other parts that you want to kind of combine together. Your healing tool, heal image, uh, irregularities, you can, I mean, like, heal the parts that you just cloned that you don't want to. This is your perspective clone tool. That. This is your blue blur sharpen tool. Kind of blur that. And there's tools, filters, blur, all this other stuff up here. This is your smudge tool. You can kind of smudge. This kind of does nearly the same as the clone tool. You smudge the layers together. And then you have your dodge burn tool. Don't use that too much either. <clears throat> so anyway guys, I hope this first part of uh, this tutorial helped you. Um, definitely uh, comment if you would like me to go into further detail of any of the tools that I went over today and um, in the next part I will be explaining all these features up here and um, more like more of the facts that you can add and all the good stuff so anyway guys please please like comment subscribe rate it all helps me out it really does and uh, I appreciate it anyway guys I will see you next time and uh, it's been Scabs. I will see you guys next time. See ya.